Hello, flute friends. We're going to be doing the song Stepping Stones. First things first, we need to figure out what the rhythm for this song is. So when we look at it, we see a bunch of quarter notes, right? And they all get one beat. Um, I need to teach you two things, and then we're going to let you practice in your brain before we do it together. One, when you're doing a whole note, this one right here, that needs to be performed as a one and then hold for three more pulses. So four total. It'll go like this, one, or if you're keeping track in your brain, one. And then over here on the far right hand corner, that's a half note, right? And it gets how many beats, right? The quarter note before it is one, two, three, right? So we'll count the half note as three and it'll get two beats. It'll be like this, three. Okay. so. Pause the video and study your counting. Make sure you can do it on your own. And you're back. Hopefully you're ready to count this with me. Let's go from the beginning without the backing track. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. Rest, rest, rest. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about pitches. We need to go through and just identify the notes. Pause the video and go through them on your own. You're back. So let's say them together real fast. Ready, go. E flat. Accidentals carry through the measure. This is also an E flat. And then D, D, E flat. Good. So what I want you to do is I want you to try to play those two notes. So remember that E flat is thumb, two, three, one, two, three, pinky. Okay. Play those two notes. And when you go to play them, we're playing these two, by the way. Uh, when we play them, make sure that it is tongued. If you don't tongue them at this point and you can't make it happen, stop the video and come see me in office hours so I can help you or in live class. If you're keep going, that means you're tonguing, okay? So we need to make sure we transition from the E flat to the D. Remember how to play D? Just raise that pinky finger, that's right. Everything else stays the same. So, and I'll be like, That's the first two measures. And then here we get to what? What pitches? E flat, E flat, and then F, F, E flat. Good. Let's think about the F real quick. F is played thumb again. And then what? One, two, three, good. One, and then pinky. So again, that's thumb, one, two, three, one, pinky. Okay, good. So <clears throat> when we go to play that note, make sure it's not too low. Some of you may go like this. To make it go faster. Try angling your air upwards and make it go faster at the same time. I kind of stick my jaw out ever so slightly to do that. Might help you as well. So let's practice between E flat, E flat, F, F, E flat. Okay. Do those fingerings a few times, and then let's practice the play. Ready, go. That is one long airstream that I'm interrupting with the tongue. Don't play it like this. That's not the right idea, and it's actually not going to show me that you understand the long stream of air process we're trying to build. Practice this several times. If you can't hear your tongue in the practice, or if you don't feel like you're doing it right, stop and come see me in office hours, okay? Here's the next two measures. This is actually pretty easy. It's what? E flat, D, E flat, D, E flat, right, okay? It's just going to be rocking between that E flat and that D, E flat, D. Good. Well, let's play that, actually. Da, 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 da. Try it. Ready, go. Good, good. Before we go on to the end, let's piece that together. Let's start right here 
and go all the way through to measure six. Measure three, right here, all the way to measure six as one big phrase, taking the breath at the breath mark because we want to make sure we don't run out of air. We don't want to pass out. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Do you get it? If not, rewind the video, try that a few more times with me, do it over and over and over again until you can do it right over and over. Okay, last bit of the song is the hardest. We're gonna be doing E flat, F, E flat again, because accidentals carry through the measure, D, E flat, D flat, E flat. So this is the part that will trip a lot of flute players up because you gotta do a lot of fingerings at one time. So let's practice them together. E flat, F, E flat, D, E flat, E flat, E flat. One more again from the beginning of measure seven. Ready, go. E flat, F, E flat, D, E flat, E flat, E flat. Good. If you can do those fingerings in order and you don't have to think too hard about it and your brain's not going to mush, then try it with me. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. How'd you do? If you need to rewind it and watch that a couple more times or even rewind it and play with me several more times, feel free to do that. Don't move on with the video until after you can master that skill, okay? Now, from the beginning to the end, we've gotta be really, really good and aware of everything that's gonna happen. We have to have the whole play of this song mapped out in our heads. So if I were you, I would use the play button with my part. The accompaniment, it's really loud. I would turn it down to about halfway. Uh, make sure the metronome's on and make sure the my part's on because that my part is on available for you during this one. Let's try it from the beginning and just practice fingerings. If you were able to do those fingerings perfectly with the recording at that moment, then great job, rock on, it's time to record, or at least to practice. So go through this on your own playing, practicing. Uh, I'll play it one time from beginning to end, um, but really at this point you should be practicing with the my part or by yourself trying to get all these things to happen with your face. Uh, at this point it's your face responding to your fingerings, am I right? Let's try it from the beginning, here we go. One, two, ready. your tongue. <clears throat> Good. If you got through all of that with me practicing, then it's time to record. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. I know this is kind of hard. It's only going to get easier from here.